the debt we owe to those who will come after us is pretty simple. We must teach our children that there can be no mind without heart, no passion without soul, no learning without wisdom, and no conviction without action. This is a place of great spirit and optimism. We tell a very sad and tragic story, but we do so through the eyes and in the voices and through the experiences of our survivors. Their courage, their resilience, their will to live and to create new life. From the very beginning of the planning stages of the museum and education center, there was much discussion and much talk about the mission of the museum being something that wasn't just relegated to the past, but that was really forward-looking uh, in terms of preventing genocide from occurring in the future and current day as well. We have been embraced by this community and by people across the globe who recognize the importance of sharing and imparting the lessons of the Holocaust and applying them to the challenges of our world today. Who knew that 1994, the genocide of Rwanda would happen? Who knew in the 90s, the situation of Bosnia would have occurred? Who knew in the 1998, the situation of Kosovo would have happened? So it turned out to be that we have known the past, but we never focused to quick to act, say that we should prevent and what is going to happen. So collectively, our organization and all cost museum, if we do that uh, educational piece, reuse across the United States and around the world, maybe sooner or later, something can change. To be able to get everyone in the same room, there's so much energy to be harnessed and there's so much work that we can do and um, just all these ideas that we have. Just coming together really gives you a feel of community and I think to foster that within youth is really, really important. We set the bar very high for ourselves and I believe we've achieved it. We opened at a very high level and in the almost one year since have established and presented to the community a series of programming, educational opportunities, and opportunities for learning and engagement that are of the highest caliber. Because I want to think about what makes this group, this group, this whole room of you stronger when we work together on this subject matter. Much of the training that our recruits get, they get in pieces. We give them 16 hours worth of training of ethics courses. We give them the diversity management. They get stress management, human behavior. I found that when we went to the law enforcement initiative training with the Holocaust Museum, that this was the conduit that brought all of those classes together. I did not realize, nor did the recruits realize, that it was law enforcement officers that were one day protecting the innocents and, as we say now, collaborators the next day, and how does a human being change so quickly, and that we have to guard against that. I think it's important for today's youth to see what happened in the past and how bad and terrible it was, but also how People were able to remember it, but still move on and move past it and build positively upon that. And to realize that they're going to be in charge of the future and they need to make sure that they avoid the same tragedies in the future. The youth exhibit, I think, for me personally, in some ways exemplifies the mission of the museum as well as anything in the museum. It's really never too early 
to teach children to be kind to others and to have compassion for others and to tie that into a larger framework of, of what can happen in, in the world at large. So youth is our focus. For some of us who have gone through the war, we have seen the bit of the war, the test of the war, the separation between the parents and the children. We see that it's not a healthy thing for children to grow, and therefore for us to work together to make sure that the social justice is, is brought to an end. By the authority vested in this court, I hereby declare you to be citizens of the United States of America. And I thought the naturalization ceremony was one of the most special things that we covered as well. The roll call of nations that day saw more than 30 nations represented as 120 new Americans took the oath of citizenship. These are the kinds of events that make sense and have been celebrated in this building. And I think the tie-in between what the museum's about and the naturalization ceremony really added a level of poignancy to it. And I don't think that got by a lot of the people who were becoming U.S. citizens. And something I didn't expect to cover in the inaugural year of the Holocaust Museum. I've really looked at the Illinois Holocaust Museum and Education Center as almost a beat unto itself. You know, I cover government, I cover schools, I cover the park district, I cover a lot of stuff. and. What's happening at the museum is also, I think, of vital interest to readers and should be a major part of our coverage always. This museum is for all of humanity. It is unique and distinctive in being a place that provides awareness and support on issues of intolerance, bullying, extremism, and hate in our society. These are challenges that young people face each and every day, and this must be a priority for everyone in our community.